Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here, Peterson Electric. Wanted to show you uh, about a month and a half later after this was all built uh, for my SEO guy. It's going to be in Fort Collins and it's going to be this pergola that we had to move the service change. Uh, if you could link that together, that'd be great. Um, it basically is going to look the same, but it just had a lot of dirt. Um, so anyways, this is kind of the finished product. You can see uh, they poured all the cement built the pergola this is going to be the fire pit um, our service that you had seen the power had come in here and they brought it up and we ended up getting that moved so i think you remember all that in the video that's how we refed and put the service here and the power over here because they wouldn't allow it underneath the pergola to have a, a, any type of meter so yeah we came up here uh i didn't like this clearance that they did to me they're putting a counter on top of this the code states anything over 18 inches or 12 inches actually you have to have a gfi serve the top of it so they're wanting to put that on after inspection i don't really care for that i wanted it up here but they wouldn't let me so what do you do um right here are switches three control switches festive light festive light and the igniter for the heater gfi protection is down low we could have done faceless ones but might as well use plugs but you cannot have any plug in the ceiling to be gfi'd on the device it has to be in front of it because you can't get on the ladder to service it. Here's the GFI here for the TV. This came underground, if you remember, I'm showing you the video. We junctioned it here. We came out of the back here with flex. We did not use metal because of dissimilar metal touching. And then we flexed over here to our air conditioning unit. They made us drive two more eight, eight foot ground rods. And I had two over here on this building, 40 foot away. It doesn't matter, they wanted it. It's kind of redundant to me to have that many ground rods, but the service is there, and this is the home structure. So I might have to have four ground rods, 32 feet. So right here, just a GFI WR, well, it's, it's a normal outlet, but wet rated. GFI over there, outlet over here. They wanted these to the back side. I didn't agree with that either because they're putting a canvas here to keep the heat in for the heater. So how are you going to get to the outlet? I, I don't know. I didn't agree with that. I felt like it could have been here or here. Nobody likes to look at electrical. It's so weird. Uh, again, you don't have to wire a pergola at all. It's not code. All you have to have is an outlet out back door and one man light or a motion light. But if you're gonna if you're gonna do this work, you gotta live with pipe. That just is what it is. You don't like it, paint it. You don't like it, don't do it. Here's the ceiling fan box. I had to have them build a box so I could mount it. A lot of you guys call and ask me, hey, I'd like to do a fan on my pergola, and it's open space to the stars. You can't. Water will get into the canopy. It's impossible. If you have an overbuild like this tongue and groove and it's roofed, yes you can. This is a switchable outlet up here that will do my festive lights inside here. I'll do one more video. And this is gonna also do my festive lights going to that tree and back again. I'll do that next Thursday for work and then I'll show you guys. Oh, and then if you're doing these gas heaters, you have to have that heat shield. They're gonna stain that wood, but it's a monstrosity. And all your gas shutoffs for, this is your, um, going out to your fire pit. Oh, and they're gonna have metal cabinets here with a grill. And then this goes shut off to your gas right here. They had to run, what is that, like an inch and a quarter line back. So right here, we did a switched outlet here, and broke our tab, festive lights, and that one's gonna be for the transformer that goes then to my gas heater 
and all of that will be switched over there as they come out. A lot of you might say, well, couldn't we have moved this panel? No. Uh, all those wires for the house for the last 110 years are in here. Where am I going to move it? Inside the doorway? That's a framed wall, a closet in her room, and a stairway right there. I can't go in and show you that. So, yeah. Um, that's kind of how it turned out. Looks really nice. I'll show you one more video. And, uh, oh yeah, we got to rewire that garage because when they got the wire, they cut it underground doing the underground. It was only two inches or an inch deep in the dirt. So we'll have to rewire from that panel into the garage. All right, guys, thanks for joining us.